as we go now to the Tony Abbott interview with Pete Jolly. The young women who are playing sevens today, and I think they are awesomely fit. They are great athletes, and I uh, compare that with the stocky, uh, beer-fueled uh, forwards of my day. Indeed, and a good thing about you know days like this, yeah. it brings the world together, doesn't mm. it? Well, look, uh, rugby is very much an international game. Uh, we uh, are going to be uh, seeing rugby at the Olympics uh, in Rio, and that'll be the first time rugby's been at the Olympics for a hundred years. But nevertheless, it's great to see rugby back at the Olympics. And of course, on a local level, you know, it's great for a boost for the local economy mm. as well. And that's why Karen McNamara, the local member, is uh, so keen to support this event. It is a great boost for the local economy. Uh, it's a great opportunity for some really good players to come to the Central Coast and show off their skills. But it is an opportunity to show the world how rugby is changing. Um, that 10-man game, that do-a-forward game uh, that I grew up with uh, 30 and 40 years ago is very much a thing of the past. It's a fast, exciting rug uh, running game. and I guess the sevens game is the rugby equivalent of Big Bash cricket. It certainly brought a lot of people back to uh, to watching rugby. Yeah, and I guess you know a lot of the uh, girls and the men out here today will be hoping to eye off Rio in a few years' time. Well, there's that, and uh, I guess uh, uh, it's the festival of human athleticism too. And uh, these are all people who have trained hard. Uh, they've honed their skills and today they put their training and their skills uh, on display for everyone. A quick tip for the tournament? Oh look, uh, rugby will be the winner, it always is. <laughs> Alrighty, we appreciate your time Prime Minister, thanks for joining no us on worries. Bar TV. Thanks so much, thank you.